Have you seen Tiger King? Thoughts? No, never will. Also, can you elaborate on, I, I mean, it's just, I don't understand the attraction. It seems to me, it's a bunch of weird people. It's a bunch of stupid people. It's a bunch of ugh, ugly people. Why would I watch it? I mean, there's some amazing things that you could watch about exciting, stimulating, interesting, fascinating. Why watch ugliness? I will not watch ugliness. Also, can you elaborate on why we do have the right to own tigers and why doesn't government have the right to stop me? Well, it only has the right to stop you if you're violating other people's rights. So if your tigers get, if you're irresponsibly holding the tigers in ways that they could get loose and go eat people, then why couldn't you own tigers? If you can own cats, if you can own dogs, if you can own little birds, if you can own fish, why can't you own tigers? What's different about tigers? So absolutely you can own tigers as long as you can guarantee to your neighbors that these tigers do not represent a risk. And if they do represent a risk, then the neighbors should be able to complain to the government. The government should come in and they should take the tigers away from you and put them in a zoo or send them back to where they, where they came from. Animals do not have rights. Rights can only be, rights are a concept that can only be applied to an animal that possesses reason, thought, conceptualization. Because what do rights protect? Rights protect our ability to reason and our ability to use our reason to produce. Animals don't produce. Animals cannot have rights. The, the concept of rights doesn't apply to the activities that they engage in. I mean, imagine if you say, well, tigers have rights and, and uh, what do tigers eat? I don't know. Uh, deer have rights. Well, what is the tiger violating the deer's rights when it eats it? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. But more fundamentally, the reason we need rights in this to some extent, the Enlightenment understood, but this is, uh, Ayn Rand really is the one who first really elaborates this. The reason we need rights, the reason we have rights, is that reason is our basic means of survival. And for reason to, 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 to be efficacious as our means of survival, it must be free of coercion. Coercion incapacitates reason. It, 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 so it, incapacity, it, 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 coercion capacity, incapacitates reason. So therefore we need to protect ourselves from coercion. That's what rights are. Rights are the protection against coercion. Rights are the recognition of the fact that as reasoning beings we need to be free from coercion. So you can voluntarily protect animals. You can create, uh, you can buy some land and put animals there and protect them and not allow hunting and not allow anything. Or not. But it's a choice we as individuals make. You can team up with a group of your friends and start a foundation and buy up land and put tigers there and leave them alone. But if somebody else chooses to buy a tiger and do whatever they want with it, it's their right. Now, to be cruel to animals, I think, is immoral. But that's not the same as illegal. So my view is we should shun people who are cruel to animals. We should have nothing to do with people. We should discriminate against people who are cruel to animals. But the government has no role in protecting them. The government is only there to protect rights, which means human beings. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the Super Chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, Many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to iranbookshow.com 
slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...